and this week um, Senator Burr came out and against House Bill 2. You're saying that's a flip-flop, that it's not quite where he stood originally when uh, the discussion first started with House Bill 2. Well, that's right. Um, I'm, if he's against House Bill 2, I think that that's wonderful. But the fact of the matter is that all through the several weeks that we've been living with House Bill 2, he said three things. First, he said that House Bill 2 does not discriminate. Well, that's clearly wrong. We know that. And discrimination in any form is wrong. The second thing he said is that it's not a federal issue. And clearly it's a federal issue because we've got, what, three federal court cases? Um, and in addition to that, House Bill 2 took away people's right to sue for employment discrimination based on religion, based on their age, based on their race in state court and put all of these cases in federal court where it's much more difficult to sue and you don't get to be in your local community. That is a federal issue. But worst of all, Richard Burr said that House Bill 2 wasn't going to have a negative impact on our, on our economy. And clearly, Charlotte has seen that. We've seen recent reports from the Chamber of Commerce talking about the economic impact in Charlotte. But we also know that Wilmington has been devastated by House Bill 2. Just getting back on its feet with the film and the TV industry and now so many shows not wanting to come to Wilmington and it's not just about entertainment it's about the local jobs that are lost it's about the hotel bookings that don't come through High Point has suffered its furniture market has suffered House Bill 2 has hurt the economy of North Carolina and it's hurt our good name to that point, we actually have a little bit of sound from Senator Burr addressing the issue of jobs and the economy uh, when it comes to House Bill 2. Let's take a listen to this quick sound bite. I continue to have businesses come in my office and talk about their desire to come and move to North Carolina, invest here, create jobs. And uh, when they stop, then I'll question whether some policy or initiative that we've done uh, deters that. That was just from a, a few a few weeks ago, uh, and that was a question about House Bill 2 and how it would affect the economy. And certainly we've seen a lot of uh, major businesses come out against uh, House Bill 2 because of the discrimination that they feel lies in right. it. And those businesses have shown more leadership than our senior senator did when the bill was enacted. 